Hey y'all, welcome to this Facebook Live. This is episode number five of Talk With Carrie. I am looking forward to these daily shows and it's so funny to think about what I wanna to talk to you guys about. And I have so many ideas and so many things happening in my business that, that I want to bring to you. And obviously there's only so much time in a day. And so today I wanna to talk a little bit about the idea of consumption versus creation. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why this topic came up for me specifically today. So thank you for jumping on, um, whether you're live or watching the replay. I would love for you to say hello. Let me know that you're here. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm always interested to see where our global community is tuning in from. So just to let you know, in case this is the first time that we're meeting, my name is Carrie Shepard and I'm a business and sales strategist for online entrepreneurs. And really what that's all about is that I help entrepreneurs build a thriving online business that truly fuels their life. And the reason I'm so passionate about this is because I know when money doesn't have to become a reason to say yes or to say no to something, but you are able to have so much freedom. And it's not about, you know, having a Lamborghini in the driveway or buying Christian Louboutin shoes or maybe it is for you. You know, whatever that freedom looks like for you, whether it's traveling or spending time with your kids or giving back in big ways, you know, that's something that I have a huge heart for and is why I started the podcast that I have. And in fact, today I got to interview a really, really cool entrepreneur and I'm super excited to be bringing that show to you this coming Friday. So if you're not already, make sure that you're connected with me over on iTunes and at the Big Heart Business Show, and then you'll get notified when those new shows drop, typically every Friday. So again, if you're popping on, please say hello. Let me know you're here. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And so again, this is a daily-ish, I say ish, um, just giving myself some room for um, being human, right, uh, show where I just talk about you know, kind of the behind the scenes of what it looks like to build a successful business. And, you know, I've had experience building several um, offline businesses that we were able to bring to the seven and some of them the multiple seven figure mark. And there's a lot of things that I learned through building those businesses. And, you know, a lot of people could say that offline and retail, which was the last business that I had, I had 12 retail stores in the Houston area. And a lot of people can say, well, you know, online is different and there's different things and, you know, X, Y, and Z, but that's not true. You know, business is business. And when you think about what it's really about, it's about connecting with other people that you can serve and make a difference for. And when you think about how you do that, that's what has me start thinking about consumption versus you know creation. And what I mean by that is I think a lot of times, especially in the online space, we can get really consumed with consumption, <laughs> consumed with consumption. And what that can look like is, you know, reading every book that every guru tells you to read, you know, being in, you know, 50 different Facebook groups, you know, watching, you know, every live video that's out there. And obviously if you're watching this video, you're consuming right now, which I'm so grateful for, for and so thankful that you are watching. But what I want to, I guess, activate within you is how much time are you spending listening, watching, um, and consuming? Versus how much time are you setting aside to actually create, you know, whether that's writing a blog post or writing an email or getting on video or um, whatever the case may be. How are you creating in your own business? Because if you, all you're doing is consuming, you're filling yourself up, but that could potentially be your comfort zone, right? You're kind of staying in that comfort zone. It feels really good. You know, I'm working on my business. I'm learning a, a new skill or I'm getting really pumped up. But if you never then turn that out, to share with other people, first of all, you're gonna to get to a place where you're not gonna be able to consume anymore. And second of all, unless you put what you consume into action, unless you actually take, like what I'm sharing with you right now, unless you actually take that and do something with it, 
it's really kind of a waste of time. And, you know, again, you're doing something that's not putting fruit back into your business. And what I mean by that is it means you're not putting something back in your business that's going to make a difference. You know, again, whether that's bringing on a new client or or bringing in more cash flow or selling a program or just getting online video to make a difference for somebody else. You know, so think about what's the point? Like, what's the point of me listening to podcasts and listening to live videos and reading books and going to seminars and going to workshops? And, you know, those of us that are in the personal development world, those of us that do love to grow and expand and learn new things, I almost just spilled my water all over my desk. That would have been tragic. Um, I know how it is. You know, sometimes we can get almost addicted to learning, right? We get addicted to learning new things and finding out a better way to do things or a faster way to do things. And I am totally guilty of this. Like, 100%. I love learning. I love being in um, coaching programs and going to live events and listening to podcasts. And don't get me wrong, I consume a lot. You know, I go walking in the morning, I listen to a podcast, I'm doing my makeup in the morning, I'm listening to something, you know, I'm eating lunch, I'm listening to something, but there's got to be times where I, I have to break away and I have to give myself some downtime. And whether that be, you know, going outside and playing ball with the, my dog Zeus, or whether that be, um, you know, sitting on the couch and journaling or praying or, you know, in the morning spending some time, you know, just you know, meditating and connecting in with God to hear what my next steps are. Because a lot of times that can be, you know, there's a lot of noise that can happen when you're consuming, right? It's like you're, you're taking out up what everybody else is telling you to do, right? And you're not giving yourself, and I'm not giving myself that space to say, what's, what am I supposed to be doing? You know, how, how am I supposed to be giving back and making a difference? You know, what is the next blog post I need to write or email I need to write? Or what does my community need from me? Because the truth is you have a lot of, of information, education, knowledge, stories, inspiration already within you. And, you know, I think a lot of times people are looking for that next fast you know, hit of what can I learn to, to make a difference really, really quickly rather than tapping in and tuning into all the life experience that you've had. And I tend to not talk about, you know, my 15 years of business experience prior to coming online. I kind of negate that. And it really was kind of made aware to me with a new client that I just signed. And when we were having a conversation or having a sales conversation, ultimately, um, you know, we were talking about that and she was asking me some really great questions. You know, we were both kind of vetting each other to see if it was a good fit. And one of the questions that she had was besides running your business for three and a half years online, what have you done previously? And it really made me think like, I am not sharing with people, you know, the experience that I've had with running five other businesses with creating a startup that we went on to sell for, um, over seven figures. Like that's a big darn deal, right? There's a lot that I can be sharing with that. But I think what happens is we consume and we get in this online world and we're only thinking about what we're doing in this little, like, you know, like a horse with blinders on rather than thinking about whether your experience was in corporate America or in another business or, you know, in life, you know, life experiences is that you don't need to be consuming anything else unless Unless you do, right? Unless you do. Unless there's something, and this is one of the, the takeaways that I, I just received from one of my coaches is that be specific. So if you're trying to, like for instance, you're wanting to grow a team and you're wanting to learn how to be a better leader, a better team leader, then consume information on that. You know, be really mindful. Okay, like I want to learn, I want to listen to podcasts that are going to help me build a team. I'm going to be reading books that are going to help me with building a team or being a better leader. And so you're kind of focusing on one skill set at a time. And I did this last year for a, a big chunk of the year of really just focusing on how to get better at building funnels. How can I be more strategic? How can I do less better? How can I get better conversion rates? You know, what is the funnel that works best for me? You know, I've been using webinars in my business for many, many years. And, you know, within that, you know, I really realized that was my, you know, kind of zone of genius. That's something that I love to do that had worked really well for me and my clients. And so I just really focused my energy all on that, you know, consuming information about that specific thing because I had intention. 
So let me know if that makes sense to you. Does that make sense to, you know, be mindful of how much you're consuming, but when you do consume, be specific about it. And yes, there might be some certain people that you just like and you watch their, you know, live videos or you listen to their podcast. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I think what happens is when we're listening to every live video out there, we're listening to, you know, 10 different podcasts, we're, you know, I'm guilty of this of having a, you know, a an actual hard copy book I'm reading, a book on my Audible, a book on my Kindle, and it's like, ah, my brain is going to explode. And so Yes, consume information and you want to grow as a, as a coach, as a person, as a business owner, but then put it back out there. You know, focus on the creativity, focus on, you know, writing and speaking and getting interviewed and, you know, sharing your message because obviously you've got a big purpose and you've got a big mission because you wouldn't have started a business if you didn't. Or you wouldn't be thinking about starting a business if you didn't. And so you've got to give value out there to attract the people that you want to work with. And so um, it's this is your friendly little push to get out there. And whether, again, it's recording a live video or maybe you do a pre-recorded video that you upload to Instagram. Or maybe you write a new blog post. Or maybe you put yourself out there to guest post on like Mind Body Green or something like that. Get your content out in front of other people. Don't just consume. Don't just be a voyeur, right? Don't just be watching everybody's live videos and listening to those podcasts and listen, you know, listening to or reading books. Put yourself out there, get visible, figure out if there's a specific need, a skill set, um, something that you really want to improve on. Focus on that, consume information on that, and be really intentional about the information you're consuming. So that's what I wanna bring you today. I would love to hear your feedback. Drop those comments in the chat box below. And as always, if this has made a difference for you, if you feel like, oh, the, lights, the light switch went on or the light bulb went on, and now I'm gonna go and do things differently, then I would love it and super, super appreciate it um, if you hit that share button and make a difference for somebody else. You know, generosity is about paying it forward. And you know, that's why I wanna get on these um, daily, you know, talk with Carrie so that I can give you some inspiration, some education, hopefully start answering questions and just being available to share my experience, my life experience, my business experience, and to be really vulnerable about what's happening day to day in my business as things unfold, as I have ahas, um, as I ebb and flow and change my business model. That was one of the things I was talking to a new friend of mine today and um, we were talking about how much our business changes in just a short amount of time you know I can think about all the different iterations of my business in the past three years three and a half almost now um, years and it's pretty amazing how much we change and you know if we're not changing we're standing still and if we're standing still we're dying so be mindful of that too like you are not um, you're not pigeonholed into any one way of doing business and there is no magic formula. And I think that's what happened to me when I first got online. I was like, okay, give me the formula. I can follow the rules. But unfortunately, there's no one size fits all and you've got to figure out, you know, what works with your personality, what works with your passion and most importantly, what works with your purpose? You know, why are you here? and What are you designed to do? How are you meant to make a difference in the world? So, I'm going to quit talking for today. If there's anything that I can specifically do to help you, to help you build your business, please, please, please feel free to reach out and let me know. I've got many different ways to work with me, both privately as well as a membership site that's very, very affordable to get into. Um, and I would love to continue to serve you on these daily videos. So I hope you will connect back with me here tomorrow. So until next time, have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye, y'all.